Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tim McBadge, a portrait fashion photographer and also a filmmaker based in London, UK. So today I have another how I got the shot and um, today I'll be giving you guys how I actually did this because um, today we're talking about how to use optical snoots and color gels. So in this photo guys, I decided to use uh, the Godox optical snoots and also color gels um, because this is like the new team I decided to like try out because I'm more of a neutral kind of person which I often do not show with colors so I decided to do something different and the Godox op optical, that's guys, <laughs> The optical suit. I don't need to add the Godox this time. But yeah, I'm going to put a link in the description to actually show the particular product. Um, so the optical snoot actually aided these um, pictures because um, I think without the snoot, the picture would have looked more like, should I say, basic, but um, it actually helped. Let's start with the backlight. I decided to use a 400 watt light. I think it's a Godox light also as a background light. But this time I didn't just use the normal beauty dish this time or what do they call it i think we yeah, have beauty dish yeah the one that actually comes with the lights i decided to use a grid with this beauty dish which is a 10 degree grid so and as you guys know a grid actually like controls the lights for this type of grids you know they are they come in various sizes like the 10 20 degree 30 degree so <clears throat> the higher the higher the grid size is the more it's actually going to like um spread the lights or actually control the light you get me so i decided to use a 10 degree grid for this one as a backlight hand i decided to add a yellow gel to it so the yellow gel 10 degree grid, grid pointed to the background um actually created more like a halo of light or maybe i won't say halo not just halo we actually created more like a separation as you guys can see in the video right here to the um for the subject so the background actually like popped in a way green plus yellow and more like an analogous color scheme and also as my main lights i decided to use the optical snoot so the optical snow i decided not to gel this at all i just left the lights normal and i decided to use like a band <clears throat> like a bando kind of like stuff in the optical snow to create that slitter of light on my subject face as you guys can see right here and i decided to use a um another light so in this particular picture i used three light setup so one has my background light the other with the optical snoot. Final light, which is the toad light, is the light I actually placed right like behind me or right in front of me, more like a few light. So this is acting more like a few and also a main light. So uh, what I did was I actually added a gel to this particular light and it was bare bulb. So bare bulb light, it was actually bouncing, filling up my shadows and at the same time, filling up the background, which is already green. So that's the reason why I had the green here, the split light from the optical snoot, and at the same time, the yellow at the background with the yellow. So that's actually the, the, the breakdown of the shot. So I've come to the end of today's video. I hope you guys have been able to learn something. And if you feel like you have, kindly that subscribe button and the like button also. And don't forget to hit the post notification bell also to get notified as I post new videos weekly. So I'll see you in the next video, guys.